Hello to my Aries. This is Queen Amunra coming to you with your general reading. Let's see what kind of week you're going to have. All right, let's see what kind of week you're going to have. Let's see. Let's see what kind of week you're going to have. All right, let's go. What kind of week is my Aries going to have? Let's see what kind of week. Talking to you wherever Aries is in your birth chart, even if you're on the cusp of uh, Pisces or Taurus. Yeah, let's see what kind of week you're going to have, Aries. Check your houses. <clears throat> even if you're a cross watcher, check your houses, all 12 houses, and see if there's Aries in your birth chart. We have a link for birth charts in the description. This is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below in the description. All right, all right, all right. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right, let's go. First card out of the deck is the High Priest. Here we have the Temperance card. Here we also have the uh, the Princes of Swords, the Six of Swords, the King of Swords, and also the Queen of Swords. Here we have High Priest. So something has somebody fired up. See all this fire here? Something has somebody fired up here. Yeah. Well, all right now, something has you motivated and inspired. Somebody has that spirit. Somebody has a spirit of just like <clears throat> motivation and inspire. But source needs you to look at something from a higher frequency. Like look at it from the highest frequency, right? Here we have the Princess of Swords here. We also have the Six of Swords here. We have the King of Swords here. And then we also have the Queen of Swords here. So keep that in mind. You want to look at something from the highest frequency. Highest, highest, highest. Just with what you know. What do you know? What do you know? What do you know about a situation? Something where your head and heart may have been at war with each other or could still be at war with each other. But source is saying to you, when you um, sit on your throne with the wisdom that you have, source needs you to use wisdom. You know, use sources wisdom, right, in your spirit because you have a lot of fire around you. So some energies could be getting you all fired up about something. <laughs> could get your temper fired up, right? And source wants you to be, you know, balance it out, like balance it out, be at peace with something, moving on. <clears throat> be at peace with somebody moving on from some kind of disappointment, um, in something, um, so yeah, so source needs you to see something from a higher frequency, so yeah, yeah, let's see how this, let's see how this plays out, yeah, so there's some energies around you that's kind of like poking the flames there, poking the fire, that's why you see these right here, the source is like these, these look like little fire bowls, like little fire pits. So it's like you get tossed all of that into a fire. If you look at it from a higher frequency, if there's anything that's trying to get you riled up or upset this week, we're already in a new moon phase, right? So we had a full moon in Pisces, which is the I believe sign. But we also had a partial lunar eclipse, which is really about your shadow self. So it's like this is still time to deal with your shadow self and your belief systems about some things, right? Um and move on from something whatever it is whatever it is move on from some things if you have any dark thoughts that's been overwhelming you you can just also like i said if you look at it this way and remember this is a general reading if you look at it this way is whenever anybody is trying to move into the next phase of life the enemy and the only enemy is the devil which is not a person but the enemy is always trying to pull people to the dark side the enemy is very crafty, so you have to look at the details of everything. But the enemy is always trying to keep people in the dark about something, right? Trying to create a, a state of confusion, right? So, yeah, so six of swords. So, yeah, I feel like somebody will eventually move on from something. Somebody will just eventually just say, you know what, you need to move on from something. It's not Something is not worth something. It's just not worth it. Yeah, you eventually will move on from the disappointment just to just like the releasing some kind of baggage. It's like, okay, I'll just you're moving on from some kind of something that just could have like presented as baggage for you. Yeah, here's a lover's card. So, some so that you can make room because I feel like somebody's thinking about their future now. 
you know, your future self. I feel like somebody is saying, you know what, you just need to move on from some things. And because there's some things that you did put out into the universe, like in terms of, especially from your throne and your wisdom and just your knowledge about things. I feel like somebody is now saying you don't want any more dysfunctional relationships. You're no longer indecisive about that, right? So the moon moving into Libra. Libra is a zodiac sign that sits right in the in the middle of the other zodiac signs and is ruled by the goddess Venus. Love, pleasure, art, music, aesthetics, peacemaker planet. Somebody is at peace with just moving on with some, and a lot of people are going to be at peace with moving on and closing out cycles this week. I can tell you that a lot of people are just like at peace with it's like, okay, you got other stuff that you're trying to do. So here we have the lover's car. So some kind of a partnership in business and or in love is trying to come in something that you've been putting out to you've been talking about some kind of a partnership is trying to come in, but you're going to have to make peace with closing out something else first. The reason why it's not going to be that difficult for you all is because you all are a cardinal sign and cardinal signs are initiators. So you're going to be the one that's initiating closing out something. Yeah. So no matter who else is around you, that is, even if you're on the cusp of like, let's say you're on the cusp of Taurus, right? Which is a uh, fixed sign. Even if you're right there on the cusp and you're like, I need to physically see something first. I just, I need to see something first. Even if you're there, the desire in that Aries in you is going to pull you forward to say, I need to spring forward. It's almost like it's going to be like a battle in somebody's spirit. Like I need to, I need to spring forward. I need to, I need to move on. I need, it's like agitated in your spirit. I need to spring forward, Right. So a source is trying to help somebody see things at a higher frequency. And the way you're going to do that is just deciding your spirit. Okay. You'd rather be at peace with something and just move on. Yeah. You'd rather be at peace with something and move on. So let's see what else we got. Yeah. Here's the emperor card. Yeah. And that's, this is where it is. You have decided to go to the light side. Four and five is nine. Somebody has decided to, you know, like I said, be at peace with something. That's what, that's what the number nine is. You decided to so say, you know what? Nine is a death rebirth number. So somebody has decided to end something permanently within yourself and just be awake. Like, you know, woke. Like people say, I'm, I'm woke now. I'm awake. I may be disappointed in something, but I'm, I'm wide awake now. I see something. My air is different, right? I just run, I need to get, the, I need to clear the air within myself, right? Take a walk whatever i need to i need some fresh air something right so here we have the knight of wands here so that's how somebody's freeing themselves so somebody's gonna feel free of something somebody's gonna finally feel free of something here we have the three of wands and you're gonna take a leap of faith moving forward right take a leap um, of faith moving forward right here we have seven of wands here so that's how, that is how, when you look at all of this, for you being on this long and arduous journey, that's how somebody's going to see being at this, coming through this long and arduous journey and source has been trying to give somebody some time to um, get to your throne and adjust your crown and not jump to conclusions about things and get to the light side of emperor energy how things actually work to your advantage and not against you. So if you're around people who like to keep on poking the flames, keep poking the fire, keep instigating, agitating stuff, it'll keep you in this constant frustration, constant state of confusion. Misery loves company. So people constantly just bringing stuff to you, talking this and that. So it's just saying to you, now that somebody, and it doesn't produce a lot of growth, it doesn't produce a lot of growth. That's the, the nine of um, wands here. This doesn't produce a lot of growth. So you look back and just like, okay, all of that for what? Doesn't even produce a whole lot of growth. So that's what Source is trying to put somebody in the king and queen of swords so that you can finally say you need to move on from certain people, places, and things that like to keep a whole bunch of drama going on all the time. They like to just, all they like to do is sit around and talk about stuff. Can't move on, hold on to certain, you know, like what, who are they competing with? What is going on, right? 
So, yeah, let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what else. Let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else. Uh, yeah. Let us see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yep, so some new seeds are being planted. And, um, yeah, some new seeds are being planted. Yep, seven of coins here. So some new seeds are being planted for growth, just for growth, right? For your growth, really. And so here we have the Knight of Wands. And again, that's how you're freeing yourselves. Like you and somebody are freeing yourselves. You're on, You're moving on from just some past disappointments and just saying, you know what? You rather just travel light through life. You don't want that heaviness on something, whoever it is, right? Here we also have the um, Ace of Swords here. So Ace of Swords is about motive. You got to ask yourself, what was the reason? Like, what was the motive? A lot of it is just conversation around other hurt people talking. Yeah. And then we have the Seven of Swords here. Yeah. So see how this person is looking over their shoulders? This could be a man or woman, whatever. But somebody, the person looking over their shoulders. Swords is saying to you, it's not so much of looking over your shoulders, like going through life, looking over your shoulders, like, okay, you gotta, you've done something where you got to be looking over your shoulders for the rest of your life. It's just more or less like the energy you put out into the universe coming back to you at some point in your life. Coming back to you, the energy you put out into the universe coming back to you, right, in some way, shape, form, or fashion, in any way, at any time. So sort of saying you're going to feel very fortunate to have moved on from something, right? And source is going to speed up your prayers. Yep, source is speeding up your prayers. Your prayers for you and somebody. So, um, you and somebody could be taking a trip, maybe going on a cruise or a flight or traveling or something like that. You and somebody could be something you all have been praying that y'all wanted to do together. You and somebody have been praying that you wanted to do something. So, um, yeah, that's what Source is trying to help somebody learn. That's what you got some unexpected good news coming across your path. So that's what Source is trying to help somebody learn how to do is saying it's not so much like when you are impulsive and you, you just, you know, like I said, you're around a bunch of hurt energies who, you know, just a bunch of hurt energies. You're a bunch of running hurt energies, you know, in the conversation. We're talking about this right here, all this earth. You're around a bunch of hurt energies talking low vibrating conversation. <clears throat> Source is saying to you, um, it absolutely can affect you. It absolutely can affect you. Gossiping, that kind of stuff, all of that. All right, let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we got. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Nine of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Six of I mean, Ace of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Justice card, Lover's card. All right. All right, all right, all right. Nine of Wands. Yeah, so, so it's just saying you're at the end of a long journey. You're at the end of a long, long, long journey. And um, like I said, um, um, some some new seeds have been planted. So I see your money growing, yours and somebody else's money growing. You know, this, um, yeah. And I feel like it's like coming through some kind of a charity, something, some kind of charity or something. Something is coming through some kind of a charity um, for something. Somebody may have been praying for some kind of a charity through something or whatever. But if that's how it's going to come through for somebody. Yeah. Here's a lover's card. Yeah, lover's card. Yeah, so money can come, money, well, some physical existence of things um, can come in a lot of different forms, right? But um, 
can come through some kind of a charity for something. You never know what the charity is for, but it can come in some way, shape, form, or fashion. So source is saying to you, um, however it comes through, it can come through some kind of charitable something. It can come through some kind of a charitable something. Um, we're now moving forward. You're form. You're forming some kind of a new alliance, like some kind of a new. Um, you're a part of something new now. You're going to be a part of something new. That's how somebody's going to see their money growing, because it'll be something unexpected. But it's like an unexpected good news coming across your path that where you won't be looking over your shoulders for the rest of your life, like wondering, okay, you know, even if. You know, just like looking over your shoulders for the rest of your life, right? So, some kind of charitable something is coming through. So, third eye chakra cleanse, a messenger from God. Don't cast your pearls before swine. Um, and then, root chakra cleanse, everything in moderation. So, somebody's been talking about a lot of stuff. Somebody has been telling somebody... You know, when I look at this right here, Aries, like I said, even if you're on the cusp of Taurus or on the cusp of Pisces, somebody has been doing a lot of talking about a lot of stuff. <clears throat> and the news somehow may have traveled back to somebody because it's a small world. Don't give yourselves a headache over something. Trying to do a root chakra cleanse at the root, at the root. There's a lot of ways things travel. But something made somebody sick to their stomach. It's like, in especially in the spirit realm, information travels. I'm not saying religious. I'm saying spiritually. Things travel. Things travel. So you have the um, gift of precognition as foreknowledge. And so make a list of pros and cons to yourselves. Speak some things into existence. You have a new attitude. Your ancestors are proud of you. Um, and so adjust your crown. Pray for them, whoever they are. Somebody's ex wants to return. Uh, whoever's ex. I don't know who's... Y'all would know ex, whoever ex is, right? So, But don't return their call. You inspired them to heal. Your peace is paramount. Um, and then just journal your journey. Yeah, but whatever... You got to remember, um, Aries, when you're around a whole bunch of hurt people and they're having a bunch of conversations about things, so it's just that it's best for you to get up and walk away from something. Like, just get up and walk away from something. You only want to because, especially if they're talking about, like, even if you're having financial difficulties or whatever, source is saying get up and walk away because what source is trying to alert somebody to is that money is coming your way or something of financial value to you is coming your way. But let note this right here. Know your worth and know your value. Because if you don't, somebody else is going to set your price for you. Because when you're hearing the conversations around it, source is saying, I'm about to send something your way. And I don't want these types of energies to have a part in this. I don't want them to have access to your vault door. Because if they talking about other people like this, they, be, they would have the same conversation about you. If it's something aligning with money, something about money. So that's what Source is trying to get somebody to start paying attention to. Like, yeah. Somebody is learning. Somebody is learning. 29. I am in sight. So yeah. 2 and 9 is 11. Somebody, that's a, a, which is a master number. You are highly intuitive and creative. Your mind thinks in pictures. And you seem to draw information and ideas from out of the sky. A powerful drive to know the oneness of all things. Yeah. So, yeah, if you're privy to any conversations about, you know, hurt people, hurting other people, and something around material something, money something, material or whatever, and you're sitting there listening to all that, remember the vibration of sound and that water. Our bodies are made up of a large percentage of water. All that is contaminating you. 
it's contaminating you. And like I said, getting somebody, you're already a fire sign. It's getting you fired up. Sources saying all that needs to be written down, tossed right into a burning bowl. I, that's not a conversation I need to hear. I mean, to be la 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 la. la. I don't want anyone even hear it. Don't even want to be part of the conversation. That's what Source is trying to help you do. That's what's going to make you have a peaceful week. It's going to bring somebody to a level of peace because some kind of a new partnership is coming across your path because listening to certain type of conversations is has made somebody sick to their stomach. Whether it's you or somebody else has made somebody, you or somebody has made them sick. Just hearing it, just even hearing about some kind of something. So work, I have the power to create the work in my in lifestyle of my dreams. Overwhelm is now abolished and removed from my work today. I calmly focus on one thing at a time. Yeah. So some kind of a new partnership is being formed here. And like I said, whether you are applying for grant money or something charitable or something, something is going to grow your money. So that's what Source wants you to be at peace with, making sure your vibrations is high if it's not a positive conversation, you, you know, y'all know what I'm saying. Like elders in our family have always said, if you don't have anything good to say, <laughs> don't say anything at all. And that's what this is. If you don't have anything positive to say about people, exit, just come out of the conversation. Don't, you don't have any, don't roll your eyes, suck your teeth, all of that other stuff. Just come out of that frequency, come out of that frequency altogether. So yeah. Yeah, come out of that frequency all together. So that's what that's what the unexpected change is happening is that source is letting you know some kind of, you know, balance is. It's like somebody has a really good heart and all of that, the universe has a bank. You put out so many good deeds into the universe. You're, somebody has been so impatient, always thinking, okay, how come, when is it going to be my turn? When is it going to... And you're looking in the wrong direction as to where it's going to come from. And Source is like, listen, it's coming from Source. Everything else is a resource. It's coming from Source. So people just jumping on the bandwagon, hurt conversations. I'm going to get it from here. I'm going to get it from here. I'm going to get So it's like, no, I need you to go to Source through prayer. Source, where I, I don't want to be lost and confused. This doesn't produce a bunch of results. So you stay stuck in this. This doesn't produce a bunch of results. So you stay stuck. It's like... um. Y'all know what I'm saying, Aries? It's like you got all these people around you with all these bright business ideas, right? And nothing is really, really taking off, but you just stay in there just dumping more money into all these business ideas. Nothing is really taking off. And so it's just saying, did you forget to pray first, pray for clarity and meditate instead of impulsively just jumping on this idea and jumping on this idea and jumping on that idea? Right, and so to add to it, you got energies around you that's like, oh, oh, then it hurt, mad, all this. So it's just saying you got something, some kind of something coming together that's going to actually work. That's going to work. That's going to help you grow your money. So your hard work is paying off. Yep, your hard work is paying off. Oh, yeah, pull it together. Pull it together. Pull it together. Because something has been making somebody sick. It could be a Capricorn that was sick to their stomach. That's what that came out. Could have been sick to their stomach hearing about something. Non-duality. Let your authentic humanity shine forth all uh, while bowing to the inner divine. You can become fluent at doing both. Yeah. Constantly hearing about a bunch of stuff that's just not even. Yep. You and your loved ones are safe. That is what I have for you. Thank you so much for joining me. Make it a peaceful week. All right, bye.